By looking at the size of the plane, I could tell I'm gonna be one of the few traveling today. I was invited to the annual 767 Bike Life Tour in Dominica. As you can see, it's spelled Dominica, not Dominican Republic. Everybody get them too confused. Two different islands, two different cultures. Due to some flight delays, I was running pretty late. The bike tour had already started, the guys are all riding. They sent me a driver, so I'm gonna go meet up with them at some point and see how I go from there. So my driver told me he was gonna pull over for some water. So I started to look for stores, but I did not see one in sight. As I seen him walk to the side of the road, I seen a PVC pipe draining water. I had no idea that was spring water coming straight from the top of the mountains. He says, it's a Dominican spring water, you must try it. So I got a bottle fitted up. Of course I expected the water. It looked crystal clear. So I gave it a shot and I can't lie, it went down pretty smooth, nice and refreshing. So we continue to head up to go meet up with the bikers. They say they have a bike waiting for me, so you know I'm ready to jump on it. Okay, I got a fresh YZF250. Couple guys came and scooped me up. Let's go find the rest of the pack. A few minutes later. Okay, we active now. And if you know your bikes, by the sound of you can tell I'm riding a 250. Four stroke. If it was a 450, that real horse, you would hear it barking. But a 250 cool, I just be feeling sorry for it. I feel like it, it be crying out for help. When you ride on these islands with mountains and hills, you will feel the elevation pulling you. So you can definitely tell when you're going uphill and downhill. They kind of throw you off, you gotta really fight with it sometimes. When it comes to wheeling on these type of roads, slim, narrow, a bunch of curves, it's best to have some experience on slowing the bike down and taking corners and you know, having full control. Cause if you're a person who like the wheelie and you don't got full control, you can get, get real frustrated. You're gonna be dropping the bike every curve and it's a lot of curves, so it'll give you a good challenge. It's just something you gotta get used to. I got so caught up riding, I didn't get a chance to show you guys most of the bikes that was participating in the tour. This is just some of them. You see you got scooters, dirt bikes, motorcycles, even cars. And the rest of them still catching up. So the bike community is real big in Dominica, as you can see. No matter what island, city, or state you go to, there's always going to be a script where bikers take over and go up and down and show off their tricks. As you can see, just like anywhere else you ride bikes, car drivers become blind to bikers. So make sure you be on point. Let's go now, let's go, let's go! Today while riding, I passed by the most craziest views and nice scenery, but being in the middle of a ride, I you know I couldn't stop and check it out. So we about to head in and put the bikes up. The guy said he want to show me around the island a little bit, so y'all stick around for that.
first stop, I believe it's called Red Rock. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. As you can see, we are now walking on the Red Rock. It has like a solid clay texture, which feels hard when you touch it and even when you step on it. But if you grab a rock, you can actually engrave your name or carve out whatever you would like to carve out into the into the red rock. If you pay attention, you'll probably see some carvings on there if you look closely. Up in this area, you can see somebody carved out I their name. I don't really know the history on the red rock, but this is the nature island, so you never know what you expect Mother Nature to make out here. Check out this view. It's like the perfect spot for cliff jumping. But they say they never seen anybody do a cliff jump from here, so I'm not trying to be the first. After leaving Red Rock, they say they have another spot they want to show me. So we're about to go check it out. Look at these views, they're unlimited. Ting hot! Shit, a ting hot! Break it, hit up! Lava! I honestly can't remember the name of this spot, but as you know, Dominica is a volcanic island has nine active volcanoes so you might see the type of activity somewhere all over the island and they told me it's usually more water in this spring here it's just depending on the time of the year but yeah it's crazy so the adventure doesn't stop here but my stomach is growling so they told me it's a spot up the road we could grab some food from on the way so let's go check it out We reached a restaurant by the name of Keeping It Real. When I was waiting on my food, I couldn't help but notice the color of the sand on the beach. Man, you never see a beach with black sand. Crazy. If you're ever in Dominica, I highly recommend you check this restaurant out. The food was amazing. So we decided to park the car and pull out the bikes, especially at the next stop is going to be on the other side of the island. So we figured the bikes would get us there much quicker. We're about to head to a spot called Scott's Head. I've never been there. Never seen it. So let's go check it out. After a cool 20 minute ride, we finally reached Scott's Head. In order to reach the peak, we have to travel on this dirt road, but you can see we almost there. And already the view is amazing. So right now we're on the southwest coast of Dominica, checking out this amazing view in Scott's Head. I heard there's a lot of history behind Scott's Head, but I'm not too familiar with it. So you just check out the view with me. It's been a long day. We're about to head back into town. Might just go relax and see what tomorrow brings. As you can see, it's a new day. We out and about. The guy said they got some more things to show me. My ears popping. But everything cool, the vibe's nice. Let's see what we can get into. So at this point, we 2,789 feet above sea level. That explains why we sit in the clouds. So we reached the next location. I was shocked to see this large body of water so high up in the mountains. They even had canoes for to go kayaking. But it didn't seem to have any paddles around. I really want to try. Ain't no paddles on it? But after reading this sign, I quickly changed my mind. 
especially how the clouds just swallowed us, making it hard to barely see across the lake. The unique thing I like about some of the waters in Dominica is if you put your hand in it and rub your fingers together, you'll feel a nice moisture on your hand, almost if you dip your hand in body oil or something like that. That's because some of the water contains sulfur. And due to the volcanic activities, this water right here was nice and warm. So yeah, it's a nice thing to experience. So I was warned about this next stop. It was definitely going to be a little hike. So I scrapped up my Nikes and got prepared for whatever. I even got a chance to catch my first forest crab. Come here. Hold it. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. You want to eat these? Yeah, people eat them. During um, our uh, um, independence time. Yeah. They're like, guys, uh, so natural this. One of our natural this. Did you see it now? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And they more them, and they more them. But you can get the dark purple again. Yeah, it's the purple. I wanna go not have these people around the front. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mind you, this is my first time in my life ever hiking, so I was trying to take my time and make sure I get down the safest way possible. I just be, well, I'll be ready for any adventure, but yeah, yeah. as you got deeper down the forest, I started to see a heavier water flow. So I figured we was getting closer to the waterfall that was hidden in the middle of the forest. Huh? <laughs> My boy Zell been living on this island his whole life. And this is his first time ever taking this hike to see this waterfall. So I felt kind of good about getting him out into the wildlife. Rock and move. <laughs> Welcome to Nature Island. Two hours later. Yeah. You made it. I felt like I was in some type of underworld. The force from the waterfall was so strong, it was a struggle to even get close to it. 
So after hanging out at the waterfall for a bit, the guy said they have another spot they want to show me. I could do a nice cliff jump. It sounded exciting, but I ain't know I was in for a big surprise when I get there. The cliff ended up being higher than I expected, but that wasn't the biggest problem. If you could see the landing spot, it was between two rocks. It didn't look safe at all. It was a bit of hesitation, but I had to represent. Okay. That's the American snaps. That's the Dominican candies. American candies, Dominican candies. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> With all the action packed adventures today, I was feeling a little exhausted. But the guys insisted we made another stop. So, it's my last day in Dominica. Why not? Here we are, Trafalgar Falls. This is a popular tourist spot in Dominica. You get to see two of the most beautiful waterfalls on the island without having to do any hiking or no crazy trails. I moved in for a closer view. But if I had enough energy, I would have climbed the rocks to get a little closer. Maybe next time. I just have a moment of silence for the late Messi. That was my first time meeting him. Didn't know it was going to be my last time seeing him. With it being my last day on the island, it won't hurt to take another ride around before I catch my flight. As you can see, the ground is wet. One thing about Nature Island, guaranteed to get some rain here and there. That's what keep the place so nice and green. Alright y'all, so if y'all enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit the like button, leave a comment if you like, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, I'd appreciate it.
So man, if you like this video, when you travel about the country and riding bikes, I'm gonna leave a link up here for two other videos when I went to Bahamas and Colombia. So man, stick around, see what we end up next.